What's up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. And of course I'm here at the office getting some stuff done. I have a hectic week ahead of me, Friday being my birthday. I'm going to be enjoying some time off on Friday. Spending it with friends and family, maybe grabbing some lunch and dinner with whoever is around locally. And so I wanted to get some stuff done so I'm not super stressed out on Friday taking the day off. Uh, a lot of stuff needs to get done. Invoices, spreadsheets, uh, sales sheets, uh, updating the website, new inventory coming in on shipping, um, restocking on a lot of the stuff that you guys are loving at the gym right now. Thank you for everyone that's been supporting online or in the gym. Samples on that next shipment coming in and hopefully we got some new uh, stuff coming for the holiday and winter collections very soon so I'm gonna be finalizing stuff with that and we're rolling I got I got a lot of stuff to get done hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos keep the likes coming if you haven't seen some of my YouTube shorts go back and watch the YouTube shorts some of them are funny some of them are just me ranting but go check them out give them a thumbs up and with that being said let's get this week started Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of this video. All right guys, I'm gonna start the morning with a quick rant. If you haven't noticed the last clip to this clip, I shaved, nice little fresh little baby face. I can't deal with the beard, I'm trying. I tried to grow it after like four or five days, it's itchy. I feel like super hot in it. My face just sweats all day long. I don't know how you guys do it. So I shaved and so yeah, there you go. Haircut last week or two, shaved today. Man, a whole new person. But um, I got a couple of, oh, one DM, I should, two, sorry, two DMs on what samples am I working with? Give me some ideas to what we're launching. So I wanted to show some samples, being that we're gonna be talking to our manufacturers uh, shortly. I'm gonna be dropping them some messages and some tweaks on some of the clothing and what we're gonna be launching. But this is something that I've had for a little bit. And so let's show it to you. So first one here, this is gonna be a pair of pant pockets on both sides. You can see that, pockets on both sides. Scrunch back here. Uh, we're probably gonna keep the logo on the back there. And straight front on the stomach area, on the, on the waist area, there is a band that goes around the top of this waist area that keeps it pretty tight. Um, I have, we have, we had, I should say, we're almost done with these. We had and have some left of these type of pants without the scrunch back to them. Um, had a bunch of people that, well, a lot of people that love the band on the top. So this was something that I wanted to revise to another product. And so your bra top here is going to have the scrunch in the middle. And the back, a nice little wide back to it. You can see that, a thick band on the back. And the top band here. So high impact on this. Uh, it will keep you together, ladies, on this. And what was the other one? So that's that. Um, this one here is same, same thing. It's going to have a thick band on the top, just in the back. The front's a crisscross on the front. I don't know if you can see that. Crisscross front, pockets on both sides scrunch back on that as well the scrunch isn't as uh prominent here as it is on the green one so it's different on that full length pant and then we have the bra top here let me switch it around really quick you're gonna have the bra top here and so straight right there the back has a crisscross strap here has a strap coming to the top. Don't mind the dirtiness of it because someone tried it on with makeup. Padded on the front here. Uh, third 
working on possibly these. This is going to be a summer for next year item, not yet for the winter. Uh, pocket hangs below the short line here, pockets on both sides. No drawstring, it's going to have a regular, just a uh, tight top, and that's the back. Don't mind the other ones because there's a couple more samples uh, over there, so we're not showing those just yet, but that's what you got. That's it. So I figured I'll show you guys. Um, I know, like I said, two DMs came through the other day on what exactly we're doing with samples, and so I figured why not throw it on the YouTube video so you guys could see it as well. I'm going to go grab a bite to eat in a far distance to my microwave. Um, come on guys, who doesn't love some broccoli and cheddar, right? Oh, roasted chicken flavored rice, um, some Campbell's soup just in case. And I don't eat this every day. I have oatmeal there too. I don't eat this every day. It's there just in case. I don't want to head to the store to get some to eat. Or if I'm hungry and it's raining and I don't want to run out to the store to grab food, we'll get it right here, have a nice little snack, and then head home for a bigger lunch. Or if I'm in the office later and I don't do a gym event, I can grab a bite here and not have to run to the store and then head home later on in the day and have a dinner. So let's get the day started. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the samples. Do me a favor, give me a comment on which ones you like. And if you have a color preference, give me a color preference. I wanna, I wanna see where you guys are with colors on some of these products. Ladies, comment below, please. I know this has been uh, primarily males. I don't know why on the channel, but hopefully your females are putting your inputs in, putting your inputs in, yeah, to the channel. And let me know what you're thinking. Give me an idea of how you feel on the products and what you'd like to see more of on the clothing side. So let's get the day started. Catch you guys later today. All right, guys, I figured I'm gonna bring you on a long day trip with me today. I got two gym events that we're doing this afternoon. One's gonna be over at Sea Caucus for the afternoon, and then the second's gonna be the Cliffwood Beach location back on the way home. But first, I gotta make a quick stop over at the rest stop because I got something in my eye if you haven't if you can't see that, I don't know, I touch my face, rub my eye, and I have some something, I don't know. Let's get inside, I'm gonna wash it out really quick, head back north, um, and see if I can maybe wash it out again when I get, if you see that? See if I can wash that back out when I get back to uh, Sea Caucus up that way. So hopefully nothing crazy, it doesn't really bother me, I just know that there's like something there, so let's wash it out. Continuing on the trip north, I'm gonna take you guys with me throughout the day, and we're gonna hang in LA Fitness, two locations today. I'm excited. Um, I've done it a few times already, but it's a long day. It's a long day. It's dealing with a lot of people and setting up and breaking down four times, well, twice. But let's get inside. See you guys over at Sea Caucus later today. All right guys, so setup's done over at the Sea Caucus LA Fitness location. A couple sales coming through already. It's like seconds after I set up, but we got a great day getting ready to get started for Thursday. My eyes feeling a lot better, if you see that. Clean it up a little bit, got to take care of. Still feels like there's a little tingling, something in there, but it's going away. It's not as blurry and like pussy or puffy looking, but yeah, there's the setup. Here till three o'clock, then off to Clifford Beach LA Fitness for their MAD action-packed day gonna enjoy it it's so nice outside today and then tomorrow is the birthday i'm gonna be hanging and relaxing family's coming hang um i don't know what i'm doing at night but that's gonna be my day for tomorrow i just want to enjoy a down day i'm like i'm always around people the camera's always on just want to get a down day to relax and do something for myself maybe buy something for tomorrow let's see catch you guys later today all right guys, gym one done, LA Fitness Sea Caucus complete. You guys killed it, thank you very much. As always for supporting, met some new people 
that I normally wouldn't really meet had it been not here during the afternoon. So typical times for me to be at the gym are like 4 to 7 p.m. So meet different crowds as you come at different times. But off to LA Fitness in Cliffwood is our next setup. And that's from 4 to 7. Gonna be grabbing some Chipotle right now uh, over in the Sea Caucus area as it's pretty close to where the gym is. And then I'm out, 45 minute ride down to Cliffwood. So let's keep the day rocking. Thank you again, guys, for supporting. As always, let's go on to the next spot and then a couple days to relax. No gym events, just emails. Uh, what else? Gonna have uh, content and social media stuff throughout the next couple days, but gyms are done as of the next one for the weekend. Actually, no, I might do one Saturday. Might do a gym Saturday morning. So just keep rolling. Nice outside today. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your day out. I'm starving. Catch you later. All right, it's that time. LA Fitness in Cliffwood. Just got here, set up. Just gonna hang, nice little view in the back. Parking lot, you probably can't really see me on here, but it's all good. Just gonna set up right there. Absolutely killed it over in the Sea Caucus. We're gonna do the same here. I got a couple of sales already. Been here for like 10, 15 minutes. So let's get the day going. Nina's in the background back over there. And we're gonna rock out till like 7, 15-ish. And then I'm out. See you guys later today. I'll wrap up the day uh, at the end of this. So I'm sure for anyone that consistently watches my videos, you're probably questioning why I'm always in my car recording. It's just because I'm always in my car always driving and so it's just an easy spot to record in but yeah i'm on the road let me watch the cars in front of me i catch you guys later so came out to clear my mind a little bit not to be in the car all the time recording and so just thinking man i have my, oh my god i got so many fucking things i want to do goals visions dreams if your dreams aren't scaring the fucking shit out of you right now you're not dreaming big enough if your goals aren't scaring you if your vision's not scaring you you're not fucking dreaming big enough and that's been the problem with me my shit my vision's scaring the fucking shit out of me. guys today is the day birthday day getting the day started over at the gym so excited it is so nice outside to go to the office afterwards get some stuff shipped out that I didn't do yesterday, and then off to go for a nice little walk, clear my head, enjoy outside for a little bit, and then start the day. I have a ton of stuff to get done. I wanna go and shop and hang and enjoy the day out. So let's get Friday started. All right, not the best workout, but it's a workout. I got a workout in early today. Going to enjoy the day out, uh, somewhat chilly out, but I think it's supposed to get nicer today. So let's go. I am hungry, need some food, need to get to the office. And I think I'm gonna have a great day. Today's a, gr a, today's a great day to have a great day. Let's go. So when you have no plans on your birthday night, decided to just come out and do some shopping. Hanging out at Woodbury Commons up in New York area. Plans for tomorrow for dinner. And so yeah, decided to come up, do some shopping, hang and relax, got some stuff, heading back to the car to drop off, and I'm gonna walk back in, do a little bit more shopping. I hate carrying bags. I don't know if you're that type of person. I hate carrying bags. I'm the guy that would buy one bag, go to the car, drop it off, and then go back shopping. I just, I just hate carrying bags. So I'm gonna drop the bag off. Got a couple of things, but do it all in one bag. Let me drop that off at the car. Go back and hang for a little bit. And enjoy some time. Look at that view behind me. Look at, look at that view. I wouldn't live up here, but the view is pretty cool. Mountains everywhere. Let's get some more shopping done. Let's go. You know what? Fun fact while I'm up here, I was just getting to thinking I worked up here back when I lived in Brooklyn. 
uh, I want to say like 17, 18, somewhere in that ballpark. I worked up here, and so I'd get a ride. I think I was like 15 or 16. I would get a ride from my mother to come up here. And I had a little kiosk. I worked for a guy cutting fabric. Funny enough, I own a clothing company. I had a guy I worked with, Babe Parkway, with this friend of mine, Mike. Me and him were like inseparable through high school. Um, we both worked at this place. So we would lay out the fabric and like long uh, tables of it, lay out the fabric and like they do in the factories would lay out like layers and layers. 10, 15, 20 inches thick of layers of fabric. And then we would lay the template down. All right, I was cut off from that last clip before. Uh, I'm recording on my phone, so every time the phone rings, the clip's cut out. So we would lay out the fabric, template on top of the fabric, and we would cut out the fabric with like this huge like saw machine. Bundle up the fabric, um, print the uh, templates, and send it out to get sewn. And then we would get it back, come up here, well, once it was done sewn, we would come up here and we would sell it. And it was winter apparel. It was like ski stuff, like that Gore-Tex type stuff. It was that stuff. So like hoodies, um, sweatshirts, zip up, jackets, uh, gloves, scarves, um, hats, all this stuff. So we would cut, sew, bring it back up here, sell it up here. And uh, my mother would drive me up here every weekend. It would be like a weekend thing. We would come like Saturday, Sunday and I would sell the shit out of the clothing here. Like a little kiosk, it's like one of those little back things there. I would sell the shit out of the stuff up here, killing it because it was the winter. Most of the times I'd come here, the lock would be like fucking jammed and frozen. I'd have to unfreeze the lock, get the security guys to, it was crazy. Um, it's like an hour and a half, two hour ride from New York to here. From Brooklyn, I should say, to here because we're in New York. but. That was uh, my probably first experience with clothing, actually. And then I went into, I think I started working at uh, Structure at the time, men's clothing store back in Kings Plaza. And then when I moved out to Jersey, started working at Express, and then from Express, Children's Place. So I've been in clothing retail for like a while, like a long, like 18 years. So, but that was my fun fact here at Woodbury Commons while I'm here shopping. So, brings me back to some good old times. Uh, still looks the same way? No, maybe not. I don't really remember how it looked, but um, still the same kind of setup layout. They just have more kiosk throughout the outside of the mall area. So, anyway, let's get some shopping done while I'm walking. Catch you guys later today. That gym session done this morning, but I am so excited, guys. Joggers are in. They are in. They've been in. They've been in inventory. They've been in stock. I just haven't had them on the website yet. But those are going up this week. Check. Come on. And a zipper pocket. I don't know if you can see that, but in a zipper pocket to boot. Two pockets, back pocket, zippered pocket, and a loop in the back for a t-shirt, a towel. I am super excited on these. They will be in stock. I'm hoping this week, once this video is live, we should be up and running with them. Four colors. I got the wine, um, champagne, wine, I, I don't know what I'm calling them yet, but <laughs> we'll work on that this week and they'll be on the website. Four colors, uh, long, like a high tapered bottom on them. So they'll be from the ankle up would be a couple inches. I'm excited. Let's get this Sunday started. Birthday weekend. Stressed out, as always. Ton of stuff to get done. And I just left the gym. I'm going to go home and eat. Start my day. It is super nice outside today. Let's go. What's up, guys? Good morning. Happy Monday here in the office. Um, doing some photos back behind me. Some flat lay photos, if you can see that. I bought a new pair of sneakers box right there. I bought a new pair of sneakers on Friday at Woodbury Commons. So I figured why not put it to use and throw it in the photos uh, with some of the new stuff coming out. So that's what I'm doing. And I just got off the phone dealing with Visa, my credit card company on one of my credit cards. I noticed over 
Uh, last night, overnight last night, I was paying some bills. Don't ask me. I don't sleep. So when I get up, I tend to, like, do stuff. Anyway, was paying uh, some credit card bills. Noticed there was a credit card charge of, twelve, like, about 1200 bucks on my card that is not for me. And it's an Apple charge. I'm not an Apple fan. I don't own any Apple products. So I know for sure that I did not make those char that charge. However, uh, when I went to go and look for like the credit card number on the back of the credit card so I can call them, I noticed my credit card was gone. So gave them a phone number, gave them a call, super helpful with me. It was like quick, easy, in and out type procedure on the phone, which was nice. She was so helpful. Um, I never had one of these before, to be honest. So it was like not an ongoing occurrence that I've knew what the hell to do so called them dealt with them uh i was on the phone and off in like five minutes she processed the thing new credit card coming tomorrow she was expediting it to me overnight so i should have that tomorrow but that credit card is attached to all ebay all amazon all paypal for that business so everything that gets generated shipping labels all that stuff comes through that credit card so i have to re-input information to PayPal, eBay, Amazon, all of that crap. So been dealing with that, but we're done with that. That's over with. Stuff needs to get shipped out. Super excited for the photos. New joggers coming out. Like I promised to you guys, if you are on my Instagram uh, page for Trinity Nutrition, you'll see that. So I'm going to try to get those out this week and launched. That's the only item I have right now, which I don't want to do just a launch for that, but you guys have been asking me for it. So, without hesitation, I think I'm going to wind up putting that out this week. So, that's been it. Uh, let's get... Where are we? Let's get that loaded. Uh, almost done with that on the computer. Loading the pictures, loading the descriptions and all that stuff, making sure it looks aesthetically nice on the website. So, let's get Monday started best day of the week if you don't agree with me i don't know what's going on but best day of the week we get to accomplish our goals for the week that we've set hopefully you're setting some goals for the day the week the month however you set them i like to set goals throughout the day and throughout the week so i know that i'm accomplishing stuff so let's catch you guys later today rain outside means i'm in the office <laughs> so i need to really leave uh, but I'm going over to LA Fitness Avenel today, hanging out with them. Catch you guys later today. All right, guys, Wednesday, back at the office here. Still doing photos, as you see down here, getting some lay flat type photos done. I actually enjoyed how they've been going up on social media. So I reached out to a sneakerhead friend of mine, hoping he's got some new old stock stuff, like from like the 90s. Um, when probably I was watching basketball at some point in time back then. Uh, the Jordans, the Pippins, the uh, Patrick Ewings, like that kind of stuff. Hoping he's got some old school sneakers that I can keep doing some photos with. And uh, I just like how it's looking on the social media Instagram page. Kind of gives some like nostalgia to the photos, sort of. And uh, I'm liking it. So hopefully he's got some really cool Nike or really cool really cool sneakers sorry really cool sneakers that I could take some photos with and borrow them for a day or two um, but I'm gonna end the video here hopefully you guys are loving the content I want to thank everyone for supporting the channel we're trying to get to 100 subscribers uh, it keeps going up and down fluctuating if you haven't subscribed do me a favor subscribe to the channel it takes two seconds and so I want to do some giveaways and I promise you guys, once we hit hundred subscribers, I will be doing giveaways on this channel for you guys. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm actually liking the content side of it. Although it's taking up a lot of my time sometimes to edit and record, stop and record. Some of these clips are like four or five times, uh, before I get it right. So, um, yeah, but I'm doing it because I love the channel. I love I love recording. I'm just documenting my life. You guys are watching it firsthand.
but this is going to be something that I can kind of look back on, make some documentaries on like small little mini clips down the road. Um, I can show it to my family, show it to my kids. I can look back at this in 20 years to see where I've progressed from. And I'm liking it. I'm liking the documentation side of the YouTube videos. Hopefully you guys are loving them as well. And if you do, give it a thumbs up down below. It takes two seconds for that thumbs up. Again, if you're not subscribed, you'll definitely, definitely help out the channel. Just subscribe. Even if you don't watch all the videos, which I hope you do. But if you're not, just subscribe. It adds the... It, it, you're going to add to the numbers, man. It's two seconds below just just hit it and so with that i'm gonna leave you guys here hopefully you guys are enjoying your week i'm gonna try to get this up as soon as possible want to get some more photos done behind me before i leave this office until the next video later